In this video we're going to show some uh, real basic editing. Um, I seen somebody had asked a question about um, they had a design that had an oval where the basically the oval didn't start and stop at the same place or it didn't meet at some place and so I thought I'd show you this um, how easy that is to fix. Um, I've loaded a design here. Um, it was an actual stitch file so I loaded it in and um, it's three separate colors and um, if we zoom in a little bit here we can see where our problem is here. Um, our satin stitch that goes around the outside does not meet um, to close up our our um, our oval there. So what we're going to do is we're going to find this stitch and we can do that by clicking out here um, shows us over here in our sequence view. That's that satin um, stitch right here. Um, it's basically starts here, goes all the way around the outside and, and should meet up at the same point so that it closes up nicely and um, this one does not. So what we're going to do is we're going to select that satin column there. Um, you can tell that it's highlighted there and we'll go up here um, and click on the shape button which will show us all the points that make up this satin column here. And uh, what we'll see is this green point tells us where the column starts and this red point right here, I'll zoom in a little closer there, shows us where the column ends. Now that's not exactly where the stitches end um, because there's actually points beyond that but that's where the last stitch is and the needle will move from there over to wherever the next wherever the next one starts. Um, so that, that point there is really only part of the problem and what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and move that ending point over to here. We'll put it over here and um, then we'll right click and update path. As we can see that didn't fix it. Even though our stop and our start now are on the same on the same basic line that didn't fix it because we don't have any path that comes over to that. So what we need to do is um, as you can see uh, Floriani defaults to editing um, our um, angle lines. Um, so I'm going to right click and tell it that we're going to edit the outlines only and now you'll see we have squares instead of circles. So what we need to do is once we get into that mode where we're editing the outlines we can drag the outline over. We now have a path over there and now we have a path. Remember this was where it ended so we have a path over to there. We moved our ending point over there. Now if we right click boom we now have that area filled in. Our stopping point is now right at the end of where that path is. Our starting point um, was here um, so it started and it moved clockwise around this oval and came up here. We moved our um, ending point over here along with we added so that there's a shape that continues over to there so it's now going to start here go all the way around and end right here if we zoom out we can see that we now have um, a completed oval around this that's really all you'd have to do to change the shape of anything or change where the start and end point is of any particular object and the same goes um, no matter what type of object it is um, it's, cer it's certainly just the same procedure to do on anything that's in your design. So that's a real quick way of showing you how to move some points just to um, maybe tweak your design a little bit. So I hope that helps.